So here we have a, a typical stainless steel fabrication that we see in the marketplace. This is a balustrade or handrail. Obviously, before this goes out into, into shopping centres, etc., it needs to be to a high finish. You, you can see on this tube itself, from the, from the factory and handling marks, we have scrapes, we have scratches, we have dents. And also the end cap here where we welded on, we have a TIG weld we need to remove and also some thermal damage. So to take this away, first step would be to take away this thermal damage in the weld. I'm going to show you how to do that with an angle grinder and a rapid prep flap disc. After that, we're going to blend the tube to a nice matte finish so we don't show up fingerprints. Uh, to do this, we're going to use what we call a tube grinding machine. First stage with a coated belt and then we'll follow that with a non-woven Bertex belt afterwards. So here I'm using the Norton Vortex Rapid Prep Flap Disc in coarse grade. The reason I'm using this flap disc rather than a conventional coated product is because I don't want to create damage or flat spots on this component. Uh, the Vortex technology enables me to take away the weld and get a good finish very quickly. For the first stage, I'm using a Norton R929 ceramic belt in grit 60. Here I'm removing all of the scratches and the surface imperfections from previous operations. To refine this finish, we're going to use a rapid prep a belt in medium grade, medium grade denoted by the maroon colour. Here we're refining all of the scratches from the R929 belt and blending it into a nice uniform matte type 2 finish. As you can see, the slower we operate, the finer the finish we get, less pressure, the brighter the finish also. Now we see the finished product. We have a nice uh, type 2 finish on here. The uh, reason it's a type 2 finish is you're not going to show up a fingerprint, so as this item may be in a shopping centre or on a staircase, when I do that, it doesn't make it look dirty after two minutes of being in application. Feels very smooth to the touch, no lumps or bumps or scrapes or scratches on there. Also, the end cap here, nice and flush, the weld's been taken off, feels still very nice and round, so no flat spots on there, so fit for the marketplace, ready to go.